Hello and welcome. This video will show how to use Business Source Complete and Nexus Uni to complete your business profile assignment. To complete the Business 110 Business Profile Assignment, you need to go to the Edison State Community College main page, select the Resources link, and then select the Library link. And that will take you to the Edison State Library main web page. To complete the assignment, you will need to use the Edison State databases and the LibGuides. To find the databases needed for the assignment, you have to select the Edison State database blue box. The two databases needed to complete this assignment is the Business Source Complete and Nexus Uni. You select either of these links to access the databases. Be aware, this is the for use on campus, and these are the for use off campus links. If you're selecting the off campus link for the business source complete, you will need to log on by entering the last name followed by the first name, and then the library card number, which is the number 1973, and your student ID number, including the zeros. This is Business Source Complete. If you were looking for journal articles and books, you would enter your information in the search bar. But since we are looking for company profiles, we select the More at the top and then the Company Profiles link. That takes us to the market line report we are looking for. The options on this page to locate businesses is to scroll up or down and go through them alphabetically, or if you know the company's first letter of the name, you can select these, or you can type in whatever business you're looking for. In this case, I'm typing in Amazon. We are going to find the Amazon.com Incorporated. We do not want to select this link because we're looking for the market line report. So we will select the market line report link. This is the market line report for Amazon.com Incorporated. There's many ways to go through the document. You can scroll through it and go page by page looking for the information needed. Or you can go back up to the top in the table of contents. The chapters are um, hyperlinks. So you can click them and it will take you to that area. So, for example, I'm going to click the key employees, which takes me directly to the key employees for Amazon Incorporated. You can scroll down to find the information needed for the business profile assignment. To get back up to the top, you can just scroll back up to the top until you're back into the table of contents area and pick whatever area you need from there. In addition to being able to work through the document, you can save it to a Google Drive, save it to a cloud, print it, email it, download it, select the hyperlink, and you can cite it. To cite the article, you click the cite link and you scroll through the different formats offered to find the one looking for. In this case, I'm looking for the MLA citation. You can use this citation, but you will always want to verify the accuracy of the formatting with another source such as OWL Purdue. Another database used in completing the business profile assignment is Nexus Uni. Nexus Uni is a legal database that contains legal and court cases and newspaper articles from 10, over 10,000 newspapers. If you're using the off-campus link, select the Nexus Uni off-campus link. Here, you'll have to select your institution, which in this case, it's Edison, and the main campus in whatever location you're at. After checking the affiliated school, the next step to log on to the Nexus Uni is to put in the last name followed by the first name and then the library card number. The library card number is the number 1973 plus your student ID number, including any zeros, and enter that information and click Submit. This is Nexus Uni's main search 
page. You can enter terms here to look for search or sources, companies, citations, newspapers. Uh, but we're doing a guided search because we are looking for a specific publication. We will select the A publication. We're looking for Amazon. And we're looking for the Hoover's report. So select, the, start typing that in and select the appropriate publication and select search. Amazon.com Incorporated is the first uh, link. We will select that. And now we're in the Hoover's company records for the Amazon.com Incorporated. The Hoover Company's records report for Amazon.com Incorporated is going to be used to complete the business profile assignment. The way to work through the assignment is to scroll through here until you get to the information needed, or you can go to certain pages, top of documents, classification, you can change the page, you can search, print, email, download, save, save to the cloud, and you can also export the citation for this. Just like in the business source complete, there are several options for formatting. We'll select the MLA. There's the MLA format for this specific document. Just make sure you verify the information included in there for formatting issues by checking a Purdue OWL. In addition to using the Business Source Complete and the Lexis Uni to finish your business profile assignment, you'll also need to access the LibGuide um, for this specific assignment. LibGuides are guides created for specific classes and assignments. And if you scroll down through the guides, you'll see there's one for the Business 110 Business Profile Assignment. Go ahead and select that. Um, in this LibGuide are the links to the Business Source Complete and the Nexus Uni. In addition, their How Do I uh, are PDFs of how you access the databases and find the different reports needed to complete the assignment. Uh, we also have specific videos you can select to watch those. And in addition, you will need to use the Google Business Search for uh, additional information in your business profile assignment. Um, the last thing in this is the citation link and this takes you to the online writing lab, the OWL Purdue for formatting and style guides. Uh, there's also the PDF of how do I to cite in business source complete. Uh, along the right hand side are links to email or to contact the library specifically. Thank you for watching our overview of using library resources to complete your business profile assignment. Thanks for watching.